What's going on, guys? Uh, hang on a mission here. And we're going to do something different for right now. Uh, I'm still working on all my uh, audio narrative stuff. And yeah. Uh, with this, it's going to be a green arrow sort of ranking the suits. I'm going to try to give a brief rundown of why I don't like them or why I like them. It's going to be a little... I don't know how long this video will be. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and comment down below uh, your favorite suits. Okay, first one. This is a Rebirth Green Arrow. His This suit, I'm not ranking the character, I'm ranking the suit and how much I like the suit. So, uh, And then I have a folder over here of what I think, well not what I think, but just a little bit bigger uh, photo of them, so so you guys can see it better. Uh, this one, this one, this one, mm, it's definitely one of my favorites, and definitely you'll see season four Green Arrow takes a bit of um, a decent amount of uh, inspiration from uh, this Green Arrow, or I don't know if it was vice versa. I don't know which one was released first, but I'm almost certain that it was the comic book version, and then it went to uh, into the Arrow TV show. But anyway, so this one, it's I'm I like the sleeveless, but I'm not like a super fan on the sleeveless. So we're going to go ahead and put this, put it in A tier. Uh, like I said, like, I don't know, like the sleeves, they're cool. Like being sleeveless is cool. And it's like definitely like up there, but I, I still think it's not the best, best. I believe that's New 52 Green Arrow. His, uh, that, this suit. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. Like again, sleeveless because I'm pretty sure this one, uh, New Fifty Two came before Rebirth, so this is the precursor to the Rebirth suit. Uh, and I know again, I'm not ranking the characters per se, but New Fifty Two, I just I don't like him having being clean shaven. You know, that's that's just not Green Arrow to me. And I'm I'm pretty sure this is Oliver Queen Queen. I'm pretty sure that's Oliver Queen. I don't know this. I don't think it's Connor Hawk. Because uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like Connor Hawk. Because Connor Hawk is usually more brown and greenish. And that's and for those who don't know, Connor Hawk is uh, Green Arrow and I believe Black Canary's son in the comics. So this one I'm gonna definitely have to put it in B. Like I said, it's not the greatest. But it's not the worst. I, I still think the one above it, the Rebirth suit, looks way better. I like how vibrant, more vibrant it looks, more comic booky it looks, and I like hoods. I'm a big hood guy. You guys can probably even see that in if you ever watched any of my fan films with Spider-Man. Essentially, I, I had a freaking a long drawn out conversation with my friend about about it. He was like, "Oh, uh." No, uh, you look like Scarlet Spider. You, that's Scarlet Spider. I was like, it, it's Peter Parker. I just, I just think a hooded Spider-Man always looks the best. So, don't know what to tell. Season 1 Green Arrow? From, uh, the Arrow show. Yeah. You can tell, because, again, it's, it's not, like, cheap, but it definitely is, uh, I don't know, it's definitely prototype -y, you know what I mean? Uh, we have this old hood. I forget his mentor's name uh, in the first couple of seasons or whatever. The guy who kind of taught him the basics of shooting arrows and surviving pretty much. With this one, it, it's, it's to me, it's iconic. And to a lot of people, other people don't 
care for it, you know what I mean? Green Arrow has always been one of those characters that nobody's really cared about. And it's always... And, and like, I get it, like, there's... You got your Superman, you got your Batman, but I don't know. Green Arrow has always been up there for me. Yeah. For this one, it's very iconic towards me. And it's definitely something that, like, screams Arrow, Castaway, Badass, Vigilante. You know what I mean? Like, this is his first ever suit when he was, like, in the basics. You know what I mean? In the trenches of, like, his career. And, uh, for me, I don't like the grease paint, but I don't, I'm not deterred from it. But with the grease paint and, like, sort of effect, I'm definitely going to have to put it, I'm going to put it above Rebirth and keep it on A, though. So we have here, this one is... Season 8, Oliver. I'm pretty... This is before he goes full on Spectre mode. I'm sorry if you haven't seen the show, but it's been out for like... All this, all of the shows have been out for like, again, like 9 plus years. And obviously this one... This is from the Crisis on Infinite Earths event and stuff. So that was a while ago. A very much a while ago. So like two or three years ago at this point in time so that's it's but anyways uh, i couldn't find a good image on it i i could only find this one that could really kind of do this i know it's not showing the whole core of the suit but with this one i i feel like i don't know like they upped it up a little bit and i i really do mess with this suit it just it, i don't know like it just it just feels good it looks good and it looks like it moves a little better a little bit better than the old black not black but uh navy green leather and stuff like that you know what i mean because usually that's typically what cw shows original suits were were really rubbery and weird but like again i get it it's they're not those shows are not they do not have an, an insane budget to go spend like a hundred fifty thousand dollars on like a fifty to fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars on freaking some dcu looking suit you know what i mean so i'm fine putting this in an s tier because again that that suit like it just packs a lot of punch especially because of the emotion scenes but again i'm not ranking performance or actor which i do really love stephen amel uh but anyways this one is from the latest DCU run, or DC Comics run, from Dawn of DC. This is, uh, like I said, Dawn of DC Grenier. I believe this is a variant cover, but I'm not for sure. But uh, it's very, very similar to... Uh, to Rebirth Green Era. You can see it in, like, obviously this, and uh, it's not as vibrant as the other one is, but I feel like it gives me, it does give me, like, CW, like, vibes to it, you know what I mean? But, like, not in a bad way. Like I said, I don't think pretty much any CW suit is horrible or dog shit, you know what I mean? Like, I think they all serve a purpose, and... And I, like I said, I get, like, they're not big budgeted, but anyways, not, like, but for, like I said, like, for this one, like, again, it's sleeveless, but I, I like the straps. Again, it's, like, one of those things, like, it's not, it, they're not really used for anything, and I, I feel like, um, I really do like the fichettes, or whatever they're called, like, the little darts that, uh, Arrow, from the Arrow show, like, those suits when they have the darts on their hand, I don't know. It just adds a little bit more, and it adds more like, like oh my, if my bow gets flung away or whatever, I can just throw a fichette and try to get away or try to even the playing field a little bit. Uh, the suit, I think it's not as good as Rebirth, but I do like it better than New Fifty Two, and that's so that's where I'm gonna put it. All right, so next up we have, I believe his name is Justin Hartley. That is from Smallville. 
Again, really like how they added the fichettes in this. Like, I know a lot of people didn't fully like this suit, but I don't know. I like, I like it. It just screams Green Arrow to me. And I've always liked the crossbow that he gets. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like, like something that like he makes it extend or something weird or whatever. I don't know if it becomes the bow or if the bow came later. I haven't watched Smallville in a minute, so I need to go back and rewatch that. Uh, but yeah, like, so with that, um, I don't have any real complaints. With this it's, this one kind of started the whole, uh, the whole thing with Arrow and the Arrow TV show, because I'm pretty sure the Arrow TV show was given to him because it was only a few years after Smallville had just ended. So, uh, but then he, I think he turned it down or some sort of. Uh, contractual like issues or maybe it just didn't pan out uh, so that's probably why they didn't really do anything with it i'm pretty sure this suit also shows up on the elseworlds episode i believe or something like in a, a credit scene post credit scene sort of thing uh but anyways the other thing the one con that i have about this suit is the glasses the sunglasses but again it's like those, those shows like especially in the early 2000s didn't have big budgets especially on cw so like i understand and he kind of looks like uh and again you can see the rubbery effect with those early those early suit designs and like the other thing i was gonna say is he kind of looks like uh if you ever seen power rangers jungle here he kind of has that vibe to him i don't know why but he does i think that's definitely a b tier suit and i'm gonna put it in the middle I, I like it more than 52, but I like Dawn of DC a little bit more. Okay, this one is season four of Arrow. It's a little grainy in this photo. Uh, again, sorry. Uh, but it, it, it's... it's It could be better, you know. But again, uh, it again it's sleeveless. I like the bits right here. Uh, overall, like this, you can tell like they were slowly upgrading the suit, which I really like, and I like how it feels a lot like combat and tactical armor, and that's what I feel like Green Arrow should have. But uh. Yeah. I'm going to put this. I'm gonna put this in B. It, it's really like right here. And I, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually drop New 52 down to C. Like I said, it's not my favorite suit, and I could definitely tell like that I like different variations of that suit way more than I like that one. So uh, let's go ahead and go over to this one. This one I believe is season three and season uh, season two and season three green arrow again sorry for that and yeah you can see it's like it's still the same uh it's still the same uh sort of fabric and uh leathery sort of like early cw vibey suit and same old hood, blah blah blah. But like, what I like about this, the good change—I know it's pixelated—is uh, the domino mask. That mask really kicks this suit up a notch. It, it, it like I said, I, I have no complaints. But again, it like—I mean, I guess at one point, it's just the same suit, just with a better face gear. I, I like I said, I definitely like it more than I like grease paint. Grease paint domino mask okay now let's get down to our final suit which is that's not too much that is season five through seven uh uh arrow suit what i really like about this this one is that i believe they removed the fichettes down to his thigh, which is nice. Way more quicker to 
uh, of access and stuff like that when he's down on the ground or something is just not going his way, doesn't have his bow, he can just toss it like I said before. I like how more tactical these ones look. And I also really love the sleeves. I always think sleeve, these sleeves complete these outfits. Uh, and yeah, it looks really cool, really dope. And yeah, I, I, I think this is by far my favorite suit from uh, Arrow. I don't know, it just, it feels like a complete suit. It feels good, I love it, it looks really good. Like I said, it's my favorite suit, so it's going to go ahead and dethrone Season 8 slash Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, Green Arrow suit. And yeah, this is my tier list. Very nice. Uh, you can also find this on tiermaker.com. Green Arrow Suits, uh, search it up, blah, 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 you should find it, I don't know, if you don't, then hey, it's whatever, I'll probably even put the link down in the description as well, so you guys can check it out if you wanted to, and rank your suits, and I believe you can add your own suits and stuff, so, uh, but anyways, yeah, that's the video, and I'll see you guys in later, uh, peace out.